Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. It's our pleasure to have you here today. We first had an initial presentation of our activity and financial statements in 2018 this morning. The, that one was handled in Portuguese and we prepared this one this afternoon uh, in English so that our partners, our clients and other institutions that are connected through our uh, video conference system and we are also present with EBEX uh, meeting some of our partners uh, worldwide. I will begin my presentation sharing some of the uh, highlights of the year, also talking a little bit about our business during 2018 and approaching uh, liquidity, assets, quality and equity as main drivers of a bank activity. So regarding highlights, I would first like to mention what has been our growth in what concerns customer base. So we reached uh, in 2018 uh, 1.7 million uh, customers, uh, a growth of 160,000 uh, clients per year uh, regarding 2017. And also we had an expressive growth in what concerns the number of mobile wallets, e-wallets, uh, clients, accounts. That uh, we reached in 2018, 1.2 million uh, clients, uh, as you can see. Those are different ones. The, the, the first on your left hand side are traditional bank accounts. And the second on your right hand side are uh, mobile wallet accounts, so clients that access bank through their mobile phone. 2018 was, uh, as previously in other years, uh, a year of uh, We got uh, from European Business Awards uh, the Bank of the Year and the most innovative bank uh, decision for Mozambique. We also got the prize for the best marketing campaign from Visa International and from International Finance, the most innovative investment bank uh, 2019, also the most innovative commercial bank 2019 in Mozambique from Global Business Outlook. We got six awards from PMR Africa, as you can see, and also uh, an award of excellence in quality. In what concerns market shares, we keep as uh, the main institution in the country, so finishing the year with a 25.55 market share in assets, 27.76 in deposits, 29.3 in loans and advances to customers. In what regards PMs, 30.98, 30.17 regarding branches, 14.62 regarding POSs. Credit cards. We have reached in 2018 203 business units. Um, most of them are retail branches, but also specific segmented approach to SMEs, corporate, banking and to mobile uh, branches. We also would like to highlight that of those 55 branches are now in rural areas so under a program that uh, we have been conducting over the last years we have been expanding our presence in rural areas throughout Mozambique and we are tending to cover uh, very soon all the districts of the country that still don't have a single branch from a bank. Uh, during 2019, we will be opening uh, further uh, new branches in rural areas. We'll begin the opening process in next April 
uh, with the branch of Funyaworo. Funyaworo will be the last district in the province of Inyamban. So Inyamban will be completely covered uh, from uh, uh, bank branches uh, since we open our last branch in the province. We also have been quite active, as you know, in social responsibility. Uh, when you use our card, you are making a contribution uh, for a social fund that we have created. It's a part of our commission that is granted the fund. So we, we use five several initiatives on the side of social responsibility and here are some of the actions that we have made the support to Mashava and José Macamo uh, hospitals the support to the nursery equipment of Mavalan hospital the project we know which is in Mukuba we support several children uh, on the neighborhood schools granting them uh, um, soy milk uh, every day so they can have a normal meal and access on better conditions to the school. We also help a, a group of vulnerable children in Gurungosa National Park under the agreement that we have with that entity and we have made several other interventions throughout the country. Also on the side of culture, uh, we have uh, supported Ngoma Mozambique. Uh, the seventh edition of the BCI Literature Prize and the National Culture Festival and many others also on the side of sports, as you can see, uh, supporting several entities within this area. Finishing 2018 with a number of 25 exhibitions, 21 took place in this building regarding arts, uh, but also uh, regarding literature. We supported the, the launch of 14 new books, some of them uh, well-known writers that you can see on the slide, but other ones are brand new that we are bringing to the market. So an additional contribution of 28.1 million uh, regarding culture, uh, support to social activities, which are to arts, uh, as we have mentioned before. 2018 was also uh, a year of uh, work on the side of innovation, as we have done before. So we launched several new projects uh, and products and services. I would like to highlight the ones regarding the support to the economy, that to say the, the lines regarding SMEs, women entrepreneur, young entrepreneurs, the new line for rural areas with the support of KFW, and also a new line uh, for uh, energy efficiency, the first one in the country also with the support of KFW. Several initiatives on the side of payments, and I would like to highlight the interoperability that we have uh, brought to the market with M-Pesa. It was the first one, so the ability for customers to make transfers from uh, mobile accounts with M-Pesa to bank accounts, and vice versa from bank accounts to mobile accounts. We also have developed the same system with MOA and we now are able to credit in few seconds any of those accounts throughout the country paying workers f making the payment of service uh, whatever is needed and we have a, also an agreement with M-Pesa we are the unique bank in the country supporting payments directly in our POS's without a card uh, directly from a mobile account with M-Pesa uh, several partnerships, uh, I would like those with um, universities and especially the one that we have renewed with uh, Universidad Eduardo Monduan, which is of course our long-standing partnership 
uh, on universities on Mozambique, the biggest one as you are, as you know, and the, the longest experience in the market that we have renewed in last December. Our key indicators about our activity in 2018 that we would like to highlight, we reached a net profit of four, uh, around 4 billion uh, metricais, a net income of around 14 billion uh, metricais, net loans and advances to customer reach around 65.7 uh, billion, uh, and customer deposits reached 115.8 billion metricais. On the side of total operating costs, we reach 6.9 billion, uh, and on the side of equity, 16.6 uh, million uh, metricais. On the side of liquidity, our closing ratio of 2018 is that we have reached the 45.59 liquidity ratio and a low end to deposit ratio of 51.34. So we only were able to convert 51% of our deposits into credit. So that means a very liquid uh, bank. On the side of liquidity, we are going to see some more information ahead, but uh, the reference uh, ratio from the central bank is 25%. We are quite high on that uh, indicator. On the side of uh, solvency, mm, uh, we have reached a ratio of 16.96. Our shareholders have de decided to incorporate already. We had our general assembly this week. 5% of our profits to reinforce our own funds. So our, our capital adequacy ratio will grow immediately to 22.61%. Our non-performing at the end of December 2018 Six, five, sorry, 66. Coverage of overdue loans by impairment is now 169.91%. Uh, and the value of equity, the total capital, uh, it was previously mentioned. What concerns our business activity? Uh, would I like uh, would like to highlight the growth in branches, uh, eight new branches through 2018. In customers, we reached 1,770,000 uh, clients, and we finished the year with a, a total of 2,890,000 uh, employees. In what concerns ATMs, we, we Finished the year with 633, 13.62 uh, uh, thousand uh, POSs and 1.2 million uh, cards issued in operation. Uh, also 1.2 million uh, customers in mobile wallets and in what concerns the number of transactions, we grew by 55% from around 15 uh, billion to 24. And uh, on the side of uh, e-banking transactions, some of the clients that accepted our invitation today, they will contribute with their transactions through our e-banking platform. That's the final result. We grew by 50%, reaching a uh, total of 146.6 billion transactions processed through our e-banking uh, platform. Our net profit grew from 2.4 uh, billion metricais to uh, 4.0 billion metricais, so a growth of 62.7%, uh, which is a good result in a year that uh, initially was a, a very, uh, I would say, smooth year of transaction from a period of crisis that everyone who is based in Mozambique knows well. 
and uh, our decomposition of the, our net profit uh, mentions that our net income growth was 7.6%, our operating costs grew by 2.6%, our impairment and provisions in the side of the um, balance sheet have a different growth than on the side of our profit statement. Here it's only the vision of the, uh, the profit statement. As you know, uh, 2018 was the launch of uh, IFRS 9, so we had a different approach that, that year. We are going to show you the total impairment uh, regarding not only the, the, um, the presentation on the side of our profit, uh, but also on the side of the balance sheet. Taxes grew by 85% and the profitability ratios uh, reached a level of 25.15 return on equity ratio and 2.61 uh, regarding return on assets ratio. So net income, as we mentioned, grew by 7.6%, 14 billion, and mainly uh, net interest income grows by 20.5% and non-interest revenue declined by 13.8%. That has to do uh, with the fact that in 2017 we sold some stakes that we were having in some companies that made a, a specific profit on the side of the, uh, our, of the accounts of 2017 that was not replicated in 2018. That's why you see the decline on the other operating revenue, but on the side of the business and the profit generated commissions from the business, you see that the growth of fees and commissions revenue grew by 16%, up to 1.8 billion. And that stands for 43% of the generation of our non-interest uh, revenue. Total operation, operating costs grew by 2.6. Uh, to say that staff costs grew by 5.2, other operating expenses by 2.1, and amortization and depreciation at a decline of 8.1%, and that altogether brings the growth that was previously mentioned. Cost to income declined by 2.4 uh, points uh, that brings this indicator to a level of 49.39% cost to income uh, indicator. In the side of our balance sheet, in what concerns customer deposits, uh, they grew by 2.4%, up to 115 billion metricas, uh, mainly the growth was on the side of domestic deposits in Meticais that had a growth of 3.4. We had a small decline on the foreign currency deposits, of course, uh, also related with the evolution of mainly US dollar deposits regarding the conversion into Meticais. 62% uh, uh, of the deposits are current deposits and 37% are term deposits. On the side of loans and advances to customers, we had a decline of 4.9% to 72 billion. Uh, we can tell you that by October last year, we felt uh, that something was changing on the economy, so the demand for credit was uh, then growing, uh, changing what we were seeing for the last two years and a half. That's good news because that's the, the feeling of the small clients, the SMEs, the corporate clients that we have that are now more uh, interested in having new financements for their investment proposals. But also on the side of individuals, we had a big growth on the last uh, semester of the year in what concerns uh, loans regarding consumption. So we see that there is a change in the economy and that uh, our clients, both individuals and companies, are moving differently by the end of 2018. 
In what concerns woe and, and advances, the growth was mainly in metikais, not in uh, US dollar woans. That is mainly due to the new requirements of the exchange law that were in place that, uh, of course, constrained uh, the activity on the side of foreign currency loans. The main uh, group, the main segment of clients are companies and uh, the, those take around 80% of the total portfolio and individuals uh, would uh, um, represent around 19.3%. As we mentioned before, uh, we had a decline in our low end to deposit ratio. It's easy to understand our deposits grew more that, uh, than uh, the growth of our uh, low end portfolio. So I would say quite a liquid bank prepared to uh, support the economy when the growth is going to come, as everyone for sure in this room expects about Mozambique. So prepared in what concerns equity, capital, but not only on the side of liquidity as well. And it's what brings us to the next slides, talking about liquidity. A growth of 10.3% in our uh, securities, our financial investments, uh, bringing the total portfolio to around 24.4 billion metikais. Cash and balances in metikais uh, grew by 31.5%, up to 8.9, uh, almost 9 billion metikais. And deposits in financial institutions grew by 1.7, up to 13.8 billion. So that brings us to a total amount of around 47.2 billion metikais of uh, immediate liquidity by 31 of December 2018. Our liquidity ratio grew to 45.59%. As I mentioned before, the standard ratio by the Bank of Mozambique is 25%. And our financing structure is mainly uh, the customer base deposits. Uh, also, uh, to mention uh, um, a slice from uh, consigned resources and the uh, uh, total funds of the bank, our equity is also another source of financing. In, in what concerns deposits, uh, deposits are mainly uh, with financial institutions and our, our main source of uh, applications are credit to clients. So loans is our principal way of uh, application of our liquidity. In what concerns asset quality, uh, to say that uh, now including the balance sheet approach that I mentioned before. Our total low and impairment grew by 3.1 uh, billion uh, to 6.4 billion, 102% uh, growth um, in 2018. The cost of risk declined from 2.7 to 1.44, sorry, and our non performing uh, low and ratio grew, uh, changed from 8.4 to 5.66, so a decline of 2.7%. The coverage of uh, overdue loans by impairment uh, is now uh, uh, 170%. So uh, overpasses uh, the total impairment a lot what is in overdue in our balance sheet. In the side of equity, so we grew by 6.8% in our total equity. Uh, in 2018, our shareholders decide to come back to uh, a distribution of a dividend that was usual before the crisis and it was interrupted. So we are going to share with our shareholders 25% of our profits 
of 2018. The rest, the 75, as I mentioned before, are going to be integrated in our own funds, in our equity. And uh, that brings us to the final value of a solvency ratio of 1696 in December 2018. And now with the integration of the, of the profits of the year, a ratio of 22.61, uh, that is uh, after the incorporation of 2018 profit. So bringing to an end the presentation about the highlights and the most important figures about our activity in 2018, as you can see, I would highlight that 2018 was a good year of increase of liquidity with BCI, also a good year of increase in profitability, uh, an increased year in what concerns uh, contribution to the society, to Mozambique, also a year of investment in innovation as it was used to be done before, and a year where we kept the first position in the uh, Mozambican uh, banking uh, system. Having the chance to have you here today, we thought that would be useful also to share what has been our growth and the evolution of the bank over the last 10 years. And this is what I'm going to share with you finally. So in 2018, we used to have uh, 50 branches. We now have in 2018, uh, 203. We used to have 843 uh, employees, we now have 2,890 in 2018. Our number of customers used to be 85,758. Uh, now they are 1,070,254. Our number of cards issue used to be 3,462, uh, 3,462. Uh, 2300 uh, and now they are 1,242,750 and we have 1,242,759 on the side of ATMs they used to be 108 now they are 633 we didn't have in 2018 any mobile account we were not supplying that product to our clients we have now around 1.2 billion uh, million cu customers on mobile accounts. Our business volume grew by 30.8 billion to 187.8 billion in 2018. Our net profit grew from 516,000 uh, meticais to 4.0 billion in 2018. That's what brought us today here. Uh, our investment relations team is prepared to share with you any additional information. Of course, this is only a small presentation about our accounts. All the information will be available on our website and any additional questions can be directed through our email investor relations at uh, investor.relations at bci.co.mz or with our phone number. Daniela is also pleased to uh, answer any question that you might have today or on the following days or weeks from some of you already know her. Um, but uh, to thank you for your attention and uh, of having accepted our invitation to be here today. Thank you so much.